All right, so severe weather, like the storms we saw over the weekend, they can cause power surges, which is why surge protectors are so essential. Leanne Beyer consulted a local expert for advice on how to keep your electronics safe. She joins us now with tips that she's learned to help keep the power on in your house. As technology continues to evolve, the importance of maintaining and upgrading your appliances has never been more crucial. So they're more important now uh, than they've probably ever been. Um, again, like we were talking about, a lot of those smart devices, a lot of the appliances, you know, even something like your boiler now, um, to get that high efficiency energy rating, uh, most of the time has logic to it, has smart has circuits to it, has circuit boards to it. Um, and those are a little more delicate than some of the older appliances would have been. As electrical systems become more advanced, monitoring their status of key components has never been easier. These smart devices provide instant feedback, giving homeowners and technicians a clear picture of their functionality. So most of the ones that you're going to put into a panel um, are going to have a light ultimately telling you the status of them, right? A green light, a red light. They're usually good until they've done their job. Um, and that typically signified with a light again. Um, if they do their job, you may end up having to replace it. Yeah. One common misconception during power outages is assuming a generator can keep critical systems running like your furnace or boiler. But there's more to it. Having the proper setup in place is essential to ensure you can power these appliances safely and effectively. A lot of people aren't aware of is the power goes out, they run out and they buy a generator and they think they can plug in their furnace or they can plug in their boiler to keep their heat going. And that's not the case. Um, you actually have to have something wired in, a transfer switch wired in before you plug in even a portable generator to keep your heat going, um, even if you have natural gas. Uh, I think it throws people for a loop, so it's something that maybe, you know, they should prepare for ahead of time. You can have a transfer switch installed. You can run out and buy a generator and have the means to hook that generator in. Reporting, Leanne Beyer, News 8.